On Monday, we told you about a partially decomposed body found along the Megan's Bay Beach trails. Virgin Islands Police Department Sergeant Dwight Griffith and Officer Watson of St. Thomas Rescue have more on the man found along the trails. My name is Sergeant Dwight Griffith, Virgin Islands Police Department, Major Crime Supervisor. Uh, we're here today in reference to Mr. Highfield. He's been missing from since Wednesday. So over the past uh, four days, uh, extensive searches have been conducted in the Megan's Bay area. Uh, this has included aerial reconnaissance, uh, Coast Guard, uh, United States Coast Guard, federal agents uh, have all played a role in this along with our community members. And I want to take a moment to uh, express our, our thanks to those community members uh, who showed up uh, for a number of days uh, to assist with the search. Uh, it's been long, uh, arduous work. Uh, we also want to give thanks to the Department of Justice and all the other agencies, including St. John Rescue, uh, who have assisted throughout. Uh, I can say that we uh, were able to procure the assistance uh, of some search dogs. They flew on to the island today uh, from Florida, uh, Central uh, Search and Rescue of Central Florida. Uh, they arrived on the island at approximately 2 o'clock uh, this afternoon. Uh, they were deployed into the area of interest at 2.30 this afternoon. And at uh, 2.45, uh, a search dog was successfully able to recover the remains of a person that we believe uh, to be Mr. Highfield. Um, a number of, of contributing factors have made it difficult in this search. Uh, the tree coverage uh, has made it almost impossible for drones uh, to be used uh, along with thermal imaging. Uh, but again, I want to express my, my thanks to all of the different agencies uh, and members of the community, family uh, that have uh, participated over the past few days. Again, like uh, what Mr. Watson explained, I'd like to thank everybody that took part in helping the Virgin Islands Police Department.